Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we're gonna see all match, any match and non-match methods in conjunction with stream. Right? So these are the Java 8 features and we'll use with streams. So, let's see. So all match, right? So stream dot all match and it's a argument is predicate, right? So this indicates, I mean from the syntax itself we are identifying if all the elements of the stream is matching the predicate condition then it will return true right stream dot all match this all match will take a predicate right if all the elements of a stream right if all the element of a stream it's if satisfied the predicate condition then it will return true exactly same similarly any match in the stream if any of the element is matches the predicate condition then it will return true right non match if none of the element is matches the predicate condition then it will return true right now let's see one by one with example so let me open sts First, let's say sample list with integer, then list equal to arrays dot as list. Let's have two, four, six, eight. Control Shift O, import that class, and let's perform the operation list dot team and all match right so all match will take a predicate so see this is the all match and it will, its return type is boolean this all match will take a predicate as a argument right now let's see this predicate this predicate is a functional interface and it's have a test method right whose return type is boolean now let's provide this uh, predicate as a lambda over here and we'll have some condition right for all match let's have a condition number is divisible by 2 right so this indicates right if all these elements of this stream right so in this stream all these elements will get right so if all these elements is divisible by 2 condition is there right this condition number percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 this meaning if this element is divisible by 2 right if this condition is satisfied by all these elements then it will return true so anyway it will satisfy for all this all these elements right so let's have a boolean the variable and let's print this one okay so it will return true let's run this one run as java application now see returning true printing true right so hope you got a clear picture right all match now let's uh see any match right so let me copy this statement and print over here this is out i am commenting out result one will take list not stream here instead of all match it be any right so see any match if in the list if any of the single element is matches this condition then it will return true now let's run okay, let me print this result right one what will be the answer who can tell me tell me who can tell me what will be the answer over here for this result one so it will return true right let's clear this console otherwise otherwise you can see can tell me array already a true was there right so let's run 
Just see, it's returning true. Okay, so here the first element itself is satisfying this condition, right? So the rest of the element it will not gonna check with this condition, right? For any match, all the element it will not gonna check. If it is satisfying one element, then rest of the elements it will not gonna check. For example, here it satisfied with two, right? So next four, six, eight, it will not gonna check. So to see this practically, uh, let me modify a little bit this uh, lambda expression so that you can have a you can have that idea. So it's it's executing one time or two time or three time. So I am providing a if condition if number is divisible by two then return true. Rest of the thing it, it will return false, right? Okay. So here I am providing a sysout or uh, an image. How many time it will execute? I told right once it satisfied this condition. Once one element is satisfied this condition. Then rest of the element it will not gonna check. For example, here two. So here only one time it will execute. Right? So any match, how many times this any match will it will execute? Only one time. Just see. Any match will one time. For example, let's have something here one and here four. Right? So now how many time it will execute? Two times. So here first one it will check. It's not satisfying the condition. Then it will check for two. Sorry, then it will check for four. And four it's satisfying the condition. Right? Then rest of the element it will not gonna check. So it will execute two times. Here this console. And let's run this sub application. Just see any match is printing two times. Right? So whenever it's a match or whenever it satisfied that condition from there onwards it will not gonna check so let's have three over here and six so here how many times it will gonna check one time two time and three time eight it will not gonna check so see any match it will come three time so see one time times and three times right hope you got a clear picture about any match right keep watching last i will say at the end of the video i will say some important points right otherwise you'll gonna miss it anyway so last but not the least uh what is that one non-match right so let me comment out this is out otherwise it will execute and this is out as well so let's have result 3 and here instead of all is none. This indicates if no none of the element, if no element is satisfying this condition, then it will return true. Here no elements is 1 is not satisfying this condition, 1 is not divisible by 2, 3 is not divisible by 2, but 6 is divisible by 2, right? So let's take something 9 and here 7 now see 1 3 9 7 is none of the element is divisible by 2 now so it will return true let's have this is out and print over here result 3 i'm printing just see and let me clear this console okay good now let's execute this uh, program so now it will result true why it's true because no of the none of the element is satisfying this condition right none of the element is divisible by two right hope you got a clear picture about all these three methods right all matches any matches and none right so 
I told right at the last I will say some important points right so those important points are if these streams are empty that means suppose suppose this array list right let's comment it out so oh, this is an empty array list then what will gonna happen let's see list equal to new array list right so if this list if this stream is empty then all matches will return always true any matches will return always false and non matches will return always true right let's see let me remove this comment and we'll go down see uh this is what all matches so all match result and this is any match result any match and this is non match result so if this stream is empty if this result is empty then for all matches it will return true for non matches for non match it will return true and for any match it will return false let's run this sample and we'll gonna see here what will be the result who can tell me what will be the output so here true here false here true right now let's run and we're gonna see let's see all match true any match false non match true right so hope you got a crystal clear picture all match any match and non match right so hope you got a clear picture about uh, these stuffs and if you want any more videos or anything specific to topic then let me know have a comment in the comment section definitely i will gonna uh, create and upload those videos and have a have a have some feedback in the comment section how uh, what is uh, i mean how you are understanding or not you can have your comments in the comment section as well and uh, don't forget to hit like right okay anyway have a good day bye bye